Police make an arrest today in an Omaha murder case one week after a woman was shot and killed outside of her home. Good evening, I'm Kevin Bouton. Thank you for joining us. The suspect, Michael Goins, just walked out of jail two months ago after similar first-degree murder charges from a separate killing last summer were dropped. Now police are outraged. Reporter Miranda Christian talked with those officers today and joins us now live with more. Miranda? Last Monday, Barbara Williams was killed in a shooting near 48th and Boyd. Today, the police took Michael Goins into custody and say he is the man responsible. After a week of pleading with the public for help, police arrested Michael Goins Saturday afternoon. Y'all seen her actually be shot and later, and if you know you're not saying nothing, I, I don't have any respect for you. I don't. That's to me, that's not humane. 22-year-old Goins has a long criminal history. Just last month, he walked out of the Douglas County Corrections, a free man, after a first-degree murder charge against him was dropped. He had been charged in a Memorial Day shooting that killed Lamont Secret in 2015. It's a sad story all the way around. Mm -hmm. When a repeat offender continues to get out on prison, and then now there's a grandmother, a family without a grandmother, and that's just sad. Omaha Police Officer Association Vice President Anthony Connor says the situation is aggravating because Goins, who was a repeat offender, should have never been on the streets. There, there's definitely a high level of frustration in law enforcement when we have to deal with these repeat offenders. In 2011, Goins was arrested for stolen property, carrying a concealed weapon as a minor, and was sentenced to prison. He was released on parole a year later, violated his parole, and was ultimately put back in jail, but was let out in 2013 under the state's good time law. It's a failure in the system. We, we, have, we have screamed and yelled from the top of the mountains. We have continued to fight against this, yet there's, it seemed like there's no one has the, um, the gall to truly go after it. And Connor says he hopes someone will step up and help change the system and make sure Nebraska criminals get the rehabilitation they need to make sure situations like this don't happen. Reporting live, I'm Miranda Christian, KMTV Action 3 News.